Philadelphia it's been a devastating day for the Action News team after two crew members aboard Chopper 6 in a crash Tuesday night. They were returning from a mission to the Jersey Shore. We are not releasing names of the deceased crew members at this time as family members are still being notified of accident. They are broken for their families. Reporter Catherine Scott said during a report on Action News. Flight tracking data shows the helicopter's altitude dropped as it returned to Philadelphia. Chopper 6 last flew over Wharton State Forest before crashing into a remote part of the forest. A helicopter from a television station in Philadelphia captured video of the wreckage. Scattered debris could be seen, with some parts burning or smoking as authorities searched in the dark with flashlights. New Jersey State Park Police said a debris field was located shortly after midnight in the area of Middle Road and Quaker Bridge at Cian Road in Washington TWP, a few hundred yards from Mullica River Road. The area is part of the New Jersey Pinelands, a million-acre wilderness area that spans more than seven counties and features dense forests, rivers, and rare plant species. Officials update Action News after two crew members die in Chopper 6 helicopter crash due to remoteness of scene and limited visibility. It was decided at that point to suspend investigation until daylight, said Chief George Federsick of New Jersey State Park Police. Know that our thoughts are with the pilots, their families and the media community. Quaker Bridge Road, Mullica River Road and Middle Road all unpaved local roads within the forest are closed while the investigation continues. State Park Police said it was a 2013 American Eurocopter AS350 STAR that he leased from Helicopters Inc. We understand that U.S. Helicopters Inc. has been in contact with the families. How will the NTSB investigate the Chopper 6 crash? A spokesperson for National Transportation Safety Board told Action News that investigators will begin process of documenting scene and examining helicopter on Wednesday. The helicopter will then be taken to a secure facility for evaluation. NTSB investigations involve three main areas pilot, aircraft and operating environment, spokeswoman Jennifer Gabris said. The information records the NTSB will examine include flight tracking data, air traffic control communications, maintenance records, weather conditions, pilot license and flight experience, the pilot's 72-hour background check, witness statements potential information from electronic devices, and all available surveillance video, including doorbell cameras. During on-scene phase of investigation process, NTSB does not determine or speculate on cause of crash, Grabus said. The preliminary report will be ready within 30 days. Chopper 6's important role in Action News Chopper 6 Those flying within it play an integral role in gathering operation, reaching areas hard to reach from land, giving us every